So you gotta do it right, okay? So when you do the DBP intro, I like to go off this leaf and I put my right foot on that leaf. Just Ooh, so you know. Oh crap. <laughs> what is going on everyone? Derek here today bringing you another vlog. As you guys can see, I'm joined here with my beautiful girlfriend, Ray. And today's video is honestly gonna be one that's gonna help you, I hope. Cause I've been getting a lot of messages recently, Derek, how exactly should I go about buying my first car? And I know this video's title is revolving around buying your first Mustang and obviously I own one so I can really relate to this subject and yeah, I'm here to help you guys. No, all kidding aside though, Ratchet Ray, where have you been? You know where I'm at, you know where I'll be, oh. <laughs> But yes everyone, I got six important tips, well tips at least I think that are important, with going and purchasing a new edge Mustang and that's gonna revolve around the years 99 through 04. And obviously these tips are intended for any used car out there. But first things first, Blue has not been started in at least, what? Five days? I think it's been five days since Blue's been started, so it's getting chilly out. Winter is definitely on its way, which is very unfortunate because I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do. through last winter with YouTube, so I think we can make it work again. But anyways, you guys know what's coming. Cold start. <laughs> This car is filthy. You guys gotta do me one favor though. You have to drop a thumbs up with that cold start because that was actually probably one of the best ones I've ever had. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. God, what the hell? She's on something. Crack. Baby, stop. We are gonna jump inside the car on the GoPro. See you guys when we get in there. All right, everyone. So we are now in the car on the GoPro, as you can tell. But we're gonna go ahead and jump on right into this video. And I have six important tips. Well, at least six tips I think that are very important when you're going to buy a new or a used car. Typically, this is for the used car and we're talking about Mustangs in general. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with tip number one. And tip number one is gonna be check the marketplace. Now when I say check the marketplace, go out, get an idea for what people are selling the cars for, what people are buying the cars for, and you know, put an average together. Get about 10, 15 cars that you really are interested in and see exactly what the averages are so you know exactly what you should be spending. That's one thing you don't wanna do is overspend on a car that's not worth it. I learned the hard way. When I was looking to buy Mustang GT, many of you guys know that I wanted to get a black one and I came across blue and they were asking 7,000 for blue and I talked them down to 6,800 and I didn't really know what was up with the car. I just knew that I liked the way it looked. And that's gonna go ahead and lead on into tip number two. You don't wanna jump the gun. Now jumping the gun is referring to the car itch. Now anybody on this planet that has a lick of interest in the cars is gonna have a car itch. You have the money, you're ready to go, you're ready to purchase. You wanna buy the first car you find that looks like it meets your needs, honestly. And that's probably one of the hardest things to get over when looking for a car is the car itch because you, like I said, you just wanna buy the first one you find. And I must say, jumping the gun was probably the hardest thing for me to do and thankfully my dad was there to be like, Derek, don't jump the gun, keep your options open, look at many cars, test drive as many as you possibly can, and the right one will come along. So we did just that, we test drove about, I wanna say about nine of them, and blue was the last one we looked at, and that's exactly why I own the car now. And before you guys go and jump the gun on buying a car that you think you might want, tip number three I believe is super important, and that's gonna be mileage is important. I highly, highly, highly recommend trying to buy the car that has the least amount of miles, just because it's obvious due to the fact that the lower the mileage, typically the better the car is shapes in, and the better the motor will perform. So for instance, when I went and bought my car, had about 120,000 miles on it, the thing ran great, sounded awesome, and it looked super good. I went ahead and purchased the car for 6,800, and little did I know, about two months later of owning the car, I would experience my first rod knock, and the motor was blown. And I ended up getting the new motor, it's another 4.6 liter two valve, but it actually had 50,000 miles, and I have never had a problem since, knock on wood. Now that we got the whole mileage is important out of the way, it's gonna lead on right into tip number four, and tip number four, I believe, is probably the most crucial tip I could possibly express to you guys. And that is gonna be bring a mechanic friend. Bring a mechanic, bring the car to a mechanic. You can also go and get a pre-purchase inspection, also known as a limit check. There you go. So you take your car to a mechanic, they will literally look ins and outs of it, look for any taps, ticks, any leaks, 
and there you go that'll just give you that much more of a you know comfortability when you're going to buy this car but let's just say you're gonna go test drive a car and you know you have this idea of getting a pre-purchase inspection let's say the seller doesn't want you to do it that's a red flag everybody you want to stay far away from those people that seem kind of sketchy because they're pretty much there just to take your money so leading on right into tip number five this one's kind of self-explanatory want to test drive the car and you want to make sure it feels right and it sounds right cut off the radio put the windows up listen for any weird noises that could possibly be going on and like I said that's just given you want to make sure the car feels right give it some gas see how it performs if it's a Mustang GT let's say it's a you know a 2011-2014 Coyote you should know and what to expect with a Coyote motor with the power a great example of this is I got into a 2004 Mustang GT that I was looking to buy it was a black one exactly what I wanted and you know it was just really like slow it was slurgy and did not move out of its own way now that doesn't mean it was making weird noises or anything like that it was just not getting out of its own way and there was no power to it whatsoever and then when I jumped into blue I noticed like holy crap I'm so glad I waited because this car has so much more power than what that other car had and if I would have went jumped the gun had the car itch paid that money for that car who knows where that car would be right now I probably wouldn't be here last but not least tip number six now tip number six is actually one that could benefit you in some ways let's say you found the car you have the money you are ready to go do not be scared to negotiate a price now that's the wonderful thing about buying a car is that they want your money, you have the money they want, so you can negotiate your price. But you do wanna go in there, you wanna be confident, and you wanna tell them exactly why you feel like that price should be what you wanna pay. And if they end up declining it, I mean, that's just the way it goes. It's their vehicle, they can sell it for whatever price they want. But usually, if you go in there with a good attitude, and you show the money in cash, and you know what numbers you wanna spend, you'll most likely get it. Now, since I've learned so much since I bought this car about like, you know, purchasing certain things, my recommendation to you guys is if you have a certain amount of money and you can't find something you want and let's say the car you want is a little bit higher than what you're expecting, save your money. Save your money. Keep on stacking it up because before you know it, you might have that money saved and when you buy what you truly want, there's no better feeling. So, keep that in mind. And the reasoning why I wanted to give you these tips is because so many of you guys hit my DM and you're wondering exactly if you should pay this amount of money for this amount of miles on this Mustang. And, and you know, I figured that if I just made this video for everyone, you guys can just check this out and it'll give you a little better idea and grasp the concept. You good? It's not fast. All right, now that playtime's over, we'll see you guys back on the G7X in three, two, and a one. So we are back and Derek is pulling in right now. Keep it coming. Back that ass up. Back that ass up. Oh. Go ahead. So, like Ray just said, we made it back. Now, I am heading to the store because my dad needs a monster. I'm about to get him a Red Bull, though. Actually, no. I don't support you anymore, Red Bull. Getting in the Coyote Swap Twin Turbo Camry. No, we're not... Blue? Enough! No. No. No! I just drove you. You say one... I don't know what to do. Shut up! You talking back? What? You son of a... Bitch. <laughs> Alright, so we are back home now, and I think this is going to go ahead and conclude today's video. I hope this helps many of you guys. I know a lot of this was self-explanatory to many of you people watching. But you know, there are a lot of people out there that just don't have the right guidance when going to buy a car, and you know, I figured this would probably help. Use those tips. I promise you they will not hurt you. If anything, they'll benefit you, and hopefully you guys find the car you're looking for, and I wish you the best of luck. But with that, everyone, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, drop a comment with any questions or concerns, or if you want to say what's up, that's cool too. Today's shout out goes out to Black 4.6. Thank you for your continued support, man. Your car looks absolutely outstanding. So so go check out his Instagram and thanks for watching. If any of you guys want a chance to want a shout out on the DBP vlogs, be sure to use hashtag DBP squad on all your Instagram posts and be sure to follow me at Derek Brand Productions. I'd be picking winners every single upload. Yeah, go do it. But for those of you that are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We got more content on the way. But until next time, America. All that, balling, doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse.